So today we're going to talk a little bit about the network assets. So what are we actually trying to accomplish here? Well, some of the, one of the reasons you might want to deal with this is just basic lifecycle management. You want to know what's in your environment, what the serial numbers are, all that kind of stuff. Um, keeping track of equipment. Well, a lot of uh, a lot of vendors tie the support to serial numbers, so you want to actually know where those serial numbers are. And in the case of when a, a device actually dies, you, you might want to be able to pull that serial number back so you don't have to do a truck roll out to the site to figure out what the serial number was to be able to uh, open up an RMA on that piece of equipment. So let's take a look at how uh, the IMC 5.1 SP1 platform, um, this feature is part of the base platform. So we've gone into the IMC uh, server here. We're going to go into resource network assets and we're going to take a look here at the network asset list and we're going to query based on the device IP address. We could have gone to a specific class um, but we're just going to look at one here in particular which is a Cisco 2811 router. Um, we're going to look at the base chassis which so have all the other parts within it are obviously in this router so we're going to be able to take a look at the base chassis and see actually what is in this thing. So as we scroll over here to the right you'll see all the uh, the typical things, the the actual asset, CISO ID, um, how long it's been in service. Um, we have the ability here to put in and modify the asset number. So if you have a specific asset number for this that's part of your organization, part of your operational um, framework, then you can put that in here. Uh, we won't do that today. Um, we'll show you the version of code running on it. And you can actually also see here the uh, serial number of this router in question, which is pretty important if you're dealing with Cisco SmartNet contracts. Um, they are usually tied back to the serial number. So as we go down the list here and we can get more details on any of these, um, you can go in and you can look at all the different, uh, the serial cards, E1 card. Um, in this case, you know, I'm looking at a two port FXO card, right? We've got the card serial number here. So again, if I need to replace that VIC to FXO, um, I could do that. And then as I get lower down here, I can go and look in the module. So in this case, in the 2811, um, you can go over here to the right and look at this. This is actually a voice gateway, and you can see this is an NMQ. So I've got a network module, the Cisco Unity Express, and I'm also able to pull out this the serial number on that. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty, pretty in-depth in here as to what you're going to actually be able to pull out from um, an asset standpoint. And of course, this does support all your HP gear as well. So I hope you guys... Uh, Find some use in this and I will see you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.